All right, guys. So I got the head off. It was kind of fun. Remember when you take the heads off of these things that the head weighs about 5 billion pounds. So be careful and uh, don't pinch a finger. Don't uh, screw your back up or anything like that. So what I did is I put a screwdriver right underneath the edge of it, and get it started, and then put a couple other screwdrivers all the way around and kind of work your way up and just kind of pry up a little bit until you get it to float all the way around. And then you may have to stand up on the front bumper and pull straight up with it. <clears throat> and then this one, I got it to come up and sit crossways on the studs just long enough for me to go around the other side and heft it off. It's sitting on the floor over there. But we're getting our first look at what's going on in here. So I can uh, pull this old head gasket off. We're going to have to replace this, which we knew that when we took it apart. Anytime you take the head off, replace the head gasket. Don't try to reuse these. Even if they look nice, believe me, it's worth your time just to get a new one. I've, I've seen guys try to reuse a head gasket, and it never works well. It's a pretty, pretty good quality one, too. We'll have to get another one of those. All right. So we can see down in here, got lots of... Uh, carbon built up on this thing and our number one uh, valve sitting open here a little bit looking down in here at these uh, pistons clean this up for you a little bit so really what I'm looking at right now is I'm looking for marks on it to see what we're looking at okay so I don't know if you guys can see this probably not I'll have to get you a close-up but this right here says 0.2 and over here, there's a 04, so we'll have to kind of see what those mean. I don't know if this is piston number two and 04, you know, board 40 thousandths over or, or what. Could be. I'll have to talk to the guy that got the rings and see what he put in here. And this is number three back here. So it also has a, a number three on it and an 04. So we know that those were put in in the right place. So one of the things we were talking about is if this piston came out of here and got new rings, it should go back in the same spot. You don't necessarily want to take a number two piston and put it in a number one, because even though you might get all the measurements as close as you can, there's a possibility it's going to be in a different spot or different uh, sizes. Same way when you pull your uh, push rods out. When you pull your push rods out, you want to put them back in the same spot you that you've got them out of. Unless you're completely rebuilding the entire motor with all new parts, you want stuff to kind of go back where it came from because it wears in and creates specific patterns when it's wearing um, little eccentricities between each cylinder. So you want to keep all that consistent. So what I'm going to do right now, we've got two and three that are up. And what I want to do is I want to get under there and I want to rotate one and four up. And let's see what it looks like. So bear with me a second. I got to get underneath here. And you should be able to watch those pistons move. Hard part will be that I can't see what we're doing. See, right here's where it gets tight, and then it frees up again. All right, right there, one and four should be up. I'll come up here and see what we got. Look at that, one and four are up. I'm completely covered in sawdust. So here we have number one. And same thing, we got a number one right here on the corner. And we got a 04 right here in the middle. So and I don't know in this particular one if these one, two, three, four markings denote the front of the piston. I'm gonna assume that they are. 
I have to do some more research in that and see what I come up with. Clean off the number four back here. There's a lot more soot and carbon and burned oil or whatever back here on the number four. I have to look into that when we get it running and see kind of what's going on with that. But not so much that it won't run. So, yep, we've got a number four here and an 04 marked in it. So they all match at least 04. I'm going to assume, since this block has been machined, that somebody put pistons, rings, 40 thousandths over in here. Um, I know I've talked about this before. Check the other videos out, but notice there's no numbers here. Your engine number should be here, but if this block has been decked down, which is basically they take a big fly cutter and just cut the entire surface down, just tiny, tiny bit, to square it off, make it true, level, all those fancy words. It'll end up taking these numbers off. And some of the machine shops will go back and put them back in for you. Some won't. These are gone, so that tells me that this has probably been machined at least once. Probably more than that. Um, other than it being dirty and nasty looking, we'll have to clean all this old gasket up. I don't see a whole lot going on up here. I don't really see why it would be getting tight in the middle of the stroke. We're going to have to do some more research on that. So, if you have any ideas, if you have any comments, if you want more detail on something, post down in the comments and uh, we'll let you know what more we come up with and we'll talk to you guys later.